so so nice to to meet you. I'm really nervous, but as you can see, right right behind us, we already had a lot of posters. Not rushing just to to be here, but that that shows how we are great fans and we're really proud and really happy for being here. And we I can't say thank you enough for what you did in the show. It's awesome. I watched and you movies since I was a kid and now that this show, the experience changed when you made something worthy of cinema. It's like a movie, best than some, so. Oh. The highest compliment, thank you. <laughs> we always set out <laughs> to make it as a, we, we wanted to basically capture the, the scale and the excitement and the event, right, of going to see a Marvel movie, um, but, but within, the new framework of making it a six hour television show. So it's this interesting hybrid. So thank you. I'm really, I'm really happy you enjoyed it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, I, I don't know what to say. So I'm going to start with a question that we, we read a lot on our on social media is that we see uh, an explanation of our endgame Loki's Nexus event, the classic Loki, the Kid Loki one. And we don't have much of the, the answer about Sylvie's Nexus event. And although we, we, see, her, we see her getting arrested by, by the TVA, but don't have the, the reason that the fans really like to, to receive or explain it. So I, who better to, to ask than you? So that's a question directly for our Brazilian fans to you. So I would say like, I think the thing with Sylvie's Nexus event, I think you can't pinpoint exactly what it is, right? But I think something that's very clear to everyone watching the show is that it has to be something very small. And I think that's what was really important within the TVA in episode four was, you know, episode one, Loki steals a Tesseract. We know he's not supposed to do that. And it's a very clear step off the path that we all know as fans that he was supposed to go on. Whereas with Sylvie, She's just a child playing with her toys. And I mean, could it just be as simple as she picked up the wrong toy? Could it be, there's a multitude of reasons it could be. I mean, I, I saw something really beautiful online and someone was saying maybe it's because she was happy, which I thought was quite sad, but who knows? And I think for me, the most important thing was whatever it was, it was something completely out of her control. And that's why it's so sad for me. I think the journey she goes on because in the elevator with Renslayer, she's like, what was my Nexus event? Because she would be wondering like, what the hell did I do? And I imagine that moment as a kid is something she's replayed over and over, but it was really important to show that I think because not everyone's Nexus event who's arrested by the TVA, it isn't a dramatic thing. And that kind of plays into the bigger question of good and evil and are the TVA good? Are they bad? And was what he who remains doing, was it for the greater good really? Like, if, you know, stuff like this is happening. So. Yeah, so I think that would be kind of my answer to her Nexus event and the bigger themes of the show as well. All right, thank you. Goodbye, a quick goodbye just to say Bye. hello for all the friends from Brazil. Thank you very much for this. That was my first interview. It was so oh, sweet, yeah. but I remember it for all my life. So oh, thank so you very much. And come, very to Brazil, man. come to Brazil. Oh. We, the fans, where you thank you so much. I'm very honored to be your first interview. And yeah, thank you. Thank you for watching the show. Thank you. <laughs>